dear students welcome back now we are going to see the nerve supply of the heart in the previous session we have finished the venous drainage of the heart now we are going to discuss about the nerve supply of the heart so the nerve supply of the heart is mainly done by both uh, sympathetic fibers as well as the parasympathetic fibers or nerves so the parasympathetic nerves reach to the heart by vagus nerve so the vagus is the parasympathetic nerves and these are these vagus nerves are cardio inhibitory these are cardio inhibitory on stimulation of this vagus nerve the heart rate is slow down okay so the parasympathetic nerves are cardio inhibitory on stimulation they slow down the heart rate okay and coming to the sympathetic nerves these sympathetic nerves are derived from the upper 3 to 5 thoracic segments 3 to 5 thoracic segments of the spinal cord they are cardio acceleratory and on stimulation of these uh, sympathetic nerves they increase the heart rate and also dilate the coronary arteries okay both sympathetic as well as parasympathetic nerves form the superficial cardiac flexors and deep cardiac flexors and the branches of which run along the coronary arteries to reach the myocardium from the uh, after forming this flexors they run along with the coronary arteries to reach the myocardium now we will see how these flexors are formed so the important function of these uh, two types of nerves that is parasympathetic as well as sympathetic nerves are to maintain or um, regulate the heart rate and to maintain the rhythm of the heart rate okay it mainly depends upon the stimulation of this parasympathetic as well as sympathetic nerves so now coming to the superficial cardiac flexors how the superficial cardiac flexors are formed so it is formed by the superior cervical cardiac branch of left sympathetic chain this one is left so from the left sympathetic chain that is superior cervical ganglion of the left sympathetic chain and inferior cervical cardiac branch so this one this one is the inferior branch of the cervical cardiac branch of the left vagus nerve so what are the things which forms the superficial cardiac flexors one is the superior cervical ganglion of the left sympathetic chain and also the inferior branch of the left vagus forms the superior cardiac flexors okay now coming to the deep cardiac flexors and this deep cardiac flexors are formed by all the cardiac branches derived from the cervical and upper thoracic ganglion of the sympathetic chain and the cardiac branches of the vagus and recurrent laryngeal nerves so all the sympathetic cardiac branches of all the sympathetic chain that is from superior cervical ganglion middle cervical ganglion and inferior cervical ganglion and also from t5 to t5 thoracic ganglions from the sympathetic chain forms the deep cardiac flexors and also from the right vagus the superior inferior and from recurrent laryngeal nerve forms the right side 
deep cardiac flexes from right side all these branches forms the deep cardiac flexes whereas on the left side uh, the middle cervical ganglion and the inferior cervical ganglion and upper t1 to t5 thoracic ganglions and except inferior branch of the left vagus forms the deep cardia flexus on the left side okay the right and left half of the flexus are going to distribute some corresponding uh, flexus so now you people have seen how the superior cardiac flexus are formed and deep cardiac flexus are formed so mainly the nerve supply is of two types one is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic parasympathetic is done by the vagus nerve and sympathetic by this sympathetic chains so in the sympathetic uh, chains so the mainly the branches uh, which are uh, forming the deep cardiac flexus or the superior cervical um, ganglion middle cervical inferior cervical and all from t1 to t5 and also the branches of the right vagus forms the deep cardiac flexus and in the case of superior cardiac flexus uh, the superior cervical ganglion and the inferior branch of um, cardiac cervical branch forms the superior cardia superficial cardiac flexus and the remaining branches of the left vagus and the sympathetic chains on the left side forms the deep cardiac flexus now we are going to see where these cardiac flexus are located okay so here we can see um the same flexus and the same supply sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves which are supplying to the heart okay the superficial cardiac flexus is situated just below the arch of aorta so just below the arch of aorta here you can um, have this superior cardiac flexus and it gives branches to the deep cardiac flexus so this superficial cardiac flexus also gives branches to the deep cardiac flexus and the right coronary artery so it follows the right coronary artery and to the left anterior pulmonary flexus so pulmonary flexus means so uh, the nerve supply to the lungs so the flexus which are present Um, on the left anterior um, pulmonary flexus so this superficial cardiac flexus gives branches to deep cardiac flexus also the right coronary artery and the left anterior pulmonary flexus so this is the location of the superficial cardiac flexus and the deep cardiac flexus is situated in front of the bifurcation of the trachea so that bifurcation of the trachea we can see on the back side of this arches that is the we can see it in uh, posterior mediastinum so at the level uh, of the bifurcation of the trachea the deep cardiac flexus are situated okay and which is present behind the arch of aorta okay that is the location of the deep so behind this arch of aorta okay and this branches the deep cardiac flexus gives branches to the corresponding coronary and pulmonary flexus the right and left halves of the deep cardiac flexus distribute branches to the corresponding coronary and pulmonary flexus that means right side it is supplying to 
coronary and pulmonary fluxes on the left side also it is supplying to coronary and pulmonary fluxes and separate branches are given to atria separate branches are given to atria so these are all about the nerve supply of the heart in the next session we are going to see the conducting system of the heart thank you